Hello everyone, welcome to this Substance Designer tutorial. In this video, we're going to take a look at how we can use a function to link some parameters. So we're just going to continue where we've been working so far in this series. Uh, we've got our metal floor rusty material. Uh, this is where we are uh, blending a rust and a metal base material to make a more complex material. And we have exposed a few parameters thus far. And so one of which is this rust amount. So if I take my default uh, value here and just move this up a bit, uh, you can see that, uh, well, we're starting to kind of dial in some rust here. So here I'll just take this back to zero. Now, on our rust base material, so if I zoom in here and select this node, you can see that uh, there's also this roughness amount parameter that we created. So if I increase this value, you can see that it's just increasing the roughness of this metal. So what I'd like to do is set up a scenario where when I increase the rust amount, I am also increasing the roughness amount for this uh, metal floor. I'd also like to create a control that enables and disables this linking between our rust and our roughness. So to start, I'm going to just come over here to my input parameters. Now I'm at the root level of the graph. So just double click in a blank area to get us there. And under input parameters, I'm gonna click this plus button here to create a new parameter. And here, I'm just gonna call this uh, rough underscore link. And for the label here, we'll call this um, rust effects roughness. And for the type, I wanna set this just to a Boolean value because I just want this to be kind of on and off. And by default, I'm gonna go ahead and just enable this to be true. All right, so now we have a little control that we can use to basically enable and disable this linking of our parameters. And so now we're gonna get back to the process of creating a function so that we can actually, well, link these parameters. So like I said, we've got our rust amount and uh, this is gonna be our driver. And let's just make note, the identifier's name here is rust underscore mount and the type here is a float one. So we're gonna actually get this variable and we're gonna use that in a function. So let's go back to our metal here and for our roughness amount, uh, I'm just gonna use this right now to set up a couple of, um, I guess, ranges. So I think that at 0.25 is going to be uh, what I would call my minimum. And uh, then we'll come up here and I'll try like 0.65. Let's see what that gives us. Uh, maybe that's going to be probably my maximum. So let's just say, uh, you know, 0.25 and 0.65. All right, so uh, what I'm gonna do now is just create my function here on this roughness amount parameter. So we're gonna click our function button and we're gonna choose empty function. So then what we're gonna do is click the edit button and now we're here in our function graph. And I'll go ahead and just pin this tab here. So here you can see that I've created a couple comments here using the comment button and I've just written out the steps that we wanna take to build up this function. So uh, the first thing we're gonna do is uh, we're gonna check that uh, is rust effects roughness boolean. We're gonna see if that's enabled or disabled. So if it's enabled, that's yes, then we wanna get the rust parameter and output its value for the roughness amount. And no, it's not enabled, then we wanna get the roughness amount control and output its value. Now, we haven't yet created this roughness amount control, but we'll do that a bit later. For now, let's just focus on this section here. All right, so uh, what we're gonna do is just kind of move this out of the way here. Uh, just to make a little room and let's do our first step so uh, we need to uh, get rust effects roughness boolean so i'm going to hit my space bar and type get and here we have this get boolean so we create this node i'm going to come over here to my drop down and here is the rough link this is the boolean that we created in the previous step all right so now we have this and we want to uh, do just a simple check on this and if else check so i'm going to hit the space bar and here towards the top we have our if else node so we're gonna create an instance of this node and you can see that its main input is a conditional. That's this white input. So we can take our rough link Boolean and plug that into the conditional. And so this is going to output either a true or a false. And if it's true, then it's gonna output this second node. And if it's false, then it's gonna output this third node. So here in this section, we said that uh, we want to get the rust parameter and output its value for roughness. So I'm gonna hit the space bar again and we'll do get float and we'll use our drop down here to target that float and here is our rust amount. So we're gonna use this. So what we can do here is just plug this right here into the if. So now that I have this set up for this control, I can just right click and set this as output and now we'll take a look at what we have. So we'll go back to our rust metal floor. Now if I double click here, you'll notice that my rust amount 
is set to zero. And since we've linked this to this roughness parameter, you can see that, well, we're feeding in a value of zero here for our roughness, which means this is super smooth now, very reflective. But as we start to increase this value, you'll notice that we start to increase our roughness. So this is working, but it's really not giving us the functionality that we want. We really want to have this value that we're uh, using here, this zero to one value remap to a specific range. And we can do that with a linear interpolation in our function. So let's take a look at how that works. So here we're just gonna jump back over to our roughness. And here I've got this other uh, tab open here. Let me just close that, we don't need that. Um, okay, so um, here's what we have so far. And like I said, let's just move the, this direction here out of the way. And so here's our conditional and we have this rust. And right now it's, it's doing this kind of one-to-one -one, um, value and it's giving us just not the results we want. So like I said, we want to actually uh, interpolate this value between the two rough ranges that we already determined. So remember we said we wanted that rough to go from 0.25 uh, and to uh, in a maximum of 0.65. So let's now create uh, those floating point values. So I'm just gonna hit my space bar and just create a float. And with this node selected, I'm just gonna hit Control D just to duplicate it. And so for this first float, I'm just gonna type in here 0.25. So that's like my minimum roughness range. And we'll select this node here and we'll type uh, 0.65. And that's my maximum roughness range. So now I have this range here. Okay, so the next thing I want to do is, like I said, I want to uh, remap this range here to this zero to one value for this roughness amount. And we can do that by using a linear interpolation. So I'm gonna hit my space bar and here in the search, I'll just, I'll just start typing in linear and you'll see that we have this linear interpolation node. So I'm gonna create an instance of this node here and I'm gonna take my rust amount which is my driver, and I'm gonna plug this here into the third input. So this is my driver. And now I have the value here for an A and a B. So this driver is now going to lerp between these two values. So the first value I want to be my 0.25, and the second value I want to be my 0.65. So essentially we are remapping this range to zero to one. And this is going to give us the, the correct uh, roughness output range that we want. So now let's take this lerp and plug this here into our if. Okay, so now we see a change here in our 3D view. Let's go back to our graph and we'll double click. And if we come over here to our rust amount, so at zero, we now know that we are outputting a roughness range of 0.25. And if I take this value and I move it up, uh, you know, pretty much all the way here, get a full rust, you can see I've got a lot of rust. And I know that that roughness range here for that uh, metal is, uh, is approaching that 0.65. And if that's too much, I can easily just jump back here and adjust this. So maybe instead of 0.65, let's just try 0.5. And we get a little update here. So we've just changed that roughness amount. So here I've just restructured the node so they're just kind of easier to read. And so like I said, we are checking our Boolean value and uh, if this value is yes, so we do want to have this rust roughness link, uh, then what we're gonna do is set up a range. So 0.25 to 0.5, that's our, this is our minimum roughness and maximum roughness. And then we're just gonna use this linear interpolation and it's just doing a lerp between our two five and our five. So basically it's just remapping 0.25 uh, and five here to this zero to one value that we're using for our rust amount. And then we're just outputting this as the, um, for the if input, this is gonna be if true. So that takes care of this section. So now I'll stop the video here. And in the next video, we're gonna take a look at how we can handle the situation when this rust roughness link is not enabled.